Y'all read that title? It is time for a declutter of thy makeup collection. Let me just preface this. If you like to watch declutters because you find them satisfying, you love seeing people get rid of a lot of stuff, I get it. This isn't the video for you. Warning you now, don't complain in the comments. I'm not here to get rid of half of my makeup collection. I'm here just to generally get rid of the old product. That's it. So, not a big declutterer over here, but I figured I would film it. I decided to clutter for a multitude of reasons. I did just declutter a few months ago, and I was very, very happy with the amount that I decluttered. It freed up some space. I felt good, but I've recently gotten a lot of products, and once again, I feel like I want to make more space in my drawers, but I also started YouTube almost four years ago on January. I still have some products that I reviewed in that first year. So I'm like, mm, okay, we gotta, we gotta get those products out of here just for the safety of my skin. And Vlogsember, no, what is it? I always forget. <laughs> Vlogmas is coming up. It's the end of November. I just wanna get my space cleaned up before I'm posting every day. And lastly, my husband and I are relocating, moving kind of across the country early next year, January, February. So I was like, all right, that's also another reason to declutter. So here we are, I'm doing this sooner than I had expected, but it feels right. Today feels like a good time. So let's do that, let's, let's get into it. Alrighty, so we're gonna start off with foundations because this this is the order that I picked out of my drawer system. Honestly, this drawer is getting cramped and I once organized this between drugstore and high end and now it's just whatever could fit where. So I think it's time to get rid of some of these, especially since some of them are expired. So we don't want that on my face. I actually want to clean the drawers so i'm gonna dump everything because it's got fingerprints and everything on it so i picked this up at the container store these are plastic and acrylic cleaners so we're also gonna do this today but any hoosers let's dump all these okay. this is probably not smart considering these are all glass oh. <laughs> okay here we go Keep, I'm just gonna put them over in this to the side and give away. I'm gonna put them, I don't know, somewhere to the side. So I'm keeping this West Manitilia because she was expensive. Dior I'm keeping. There's a lot that I'm keeping. Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. This one is super good. I do think though, I haven't had this for too long, but... I don't really like it and I don't think I'll ever use it. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It foundation. Oh, I guess I wasted my money on this, but I just don't see myself using it. So let's get rid of that. We have my ColourPop Pretty Fresh. I like this in the summer, so I'm going to keep these. I do think, though, I've had the ColourPop No Filter Stick Foundation for long enough and it doesn't last the longest. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Keeping my It Cosmetics mini CC creams. I always use these for reference. Love this foundation from L'Oreal. It's amazing. I have two YSL Touche Clots. One is old, one is not. This one is the old one, so we're gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna keep the new one. Keeping my amazing e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This is really bomb for the price, and you can see I've used a lot of it. My Rare Beauty is pretty new. I don't love this foundation, but it's great for reference since it is such a popular foundation, so I'm gonna keep this. Another really nice drugstore foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and keep these because they are really good as well. I actually received a PR package from them a couple months ago and I threw out my old ones and I kept the ones that they sent me. So these are still new. This is fairly new. This is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Foundation. One, this is not a good foundation. It's way too thick. And two, it's not my color at all. So this I'm going to not throw away, but give away. This is not my favorite foundation. This is the Sephora Long, what is it? 10 hour wear foundation. I'm keeping it for reference, but it's not my favorite, but I want to keep some products from Sephora collection. Don't do what I do, okay? Unless YouTube is your job and you're a review channel, you 
just don't do what I do. I'm going to get rid of this because this I reviewed, I think, in my first year of YouTube. This is the Benefit Hello Happy Flawless Brightening Foundation. I really like this, but it's just old, so I don't want that touching my face. Keeping my Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation for reference, which, oh my goodness, I can't remember the last time I used this, so I'm going to have to use this. Keeping this, this is fairly new. Keep, just use this, love this. Keep, also recently just use this. Keep, we have a new fresh bottle. I just opened up a new one a couple months ago. One of my favorite everyday foundations. So we're gonna keep this. Hmm, this is borderline old. Okay, let's just get rid of this. We don't need this. My Haley's Beauty Foundation. I'm going to keep this. Keep. Here's another Haley's foundation, keep. Want to keep some affordable options. Both of these are fairly new. Keep, but I'm actually going to get rid of this because I hate the way this looks on my skin. So I'm gonna give this away. I hate this foundation, but it's great to mix with other foundations to get the coverage that I want. So I'm gonna keep this. This is oddly pink on me and I don't really care for it. So I'm gonna declutter this. This is way too expensive and way too new. So I'm gonna keep this. Not my favorite foundation, but it's new. I got it this year. Keeping this, this is pretty good. This is one of the most heavy duty drugstore foundations ever. Love this, keeping this. My favorite summer foundations from By Beauty. It's super lightweight, so I'm gonna keep this. I am really depressed about this because this has such a pretty glowy skin-like finish. Bought this at the end of 2017. So this has got to go and it's been discontinued, but it's so freaking beautiful. But my skin, sad face. Keeping this super beautiful. Keeping my new luminous silk as well as my neo nude. I think I've pulled out most of the stuff I don't want, but let's look at this. Hmm. Uh, mm, I don't love these, but I actually, okay, I'm keeping the Radiance foundation for sure. Do I need two of these? I mix them to get my perfect color. And I do like these. They just oxidize like crazy, but I'm gonna keep these for now. I have this old Laura Mercier tinted foundations. You can see, you can see it's literally oxidized within the packaging, so that needs to go. Okay, let me just quickly scan now that I can see everything. Is there anything that I don't want? I'm gonna get rid of this little sample of this Tarte foundation. All the things I'm obviously keeping, I'm gonna keep over here. I'm not super knowledgeable about these Milani tinted moisturizers. They just gave them to me at the end of summer. They're still very new, so I'm gonna keep these. Keep, 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 keep. I'm going to get rid of this old thing. This is from, it's not terribly old, but it looks disgusting in here. Honestly, it is old, actually. I think I got this in 2018. Yeah, okay, we'll just get rid of that. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. So keeping that, this is new. Keeping this. I think everything else is worthwhile, no? Like this looks nasty, but it just needs a good shaking because this is not old. No, makeup stick is really good. This is good. Okay, I don't remember how I feel about this, but I know it's super duper duper light. But honestly, I'm gonna keep this because it's super light, because it's perfect to mix in with other foundations. So this is gonna be a color corrector. Okay, I mean, my foundation declutter wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be initially. Let me bring all these over. Okay, so these are all of the foundations that I'm decluttering. If I do recall, though, a few months ago, I did a really good job of decluttering these because they were super old. So I think I'm still reaping the benefits of that, but still, I mean, I got rid of three, six, nine, twelve foundations. That's more than most people have. So for one reason or another, these have got to go. Face primers. 
So with face primers, I feel like this is a portion of my collection that grew semi-recently. You might be disappointed, but <laughs> let's go. Like I just recently started adding, because of a PR package, a bunch of Milani primers. I like all of these, so we're... <laughs> <laughs> That's so extra of me to keep them, but I'm gonna just do what I want to do because they're new. Keeping my fourth rate oat face milk, but I'm going to declutter my Mulan Jasmine face milk because it's hard to see now, but get, this is getting towards the bottom. It's getting harder to get the product, so I'm just gonna give that away. Keeping my Good Molecules, this is amazing. My Ola Henriksen is also amazing. This, I feel like, is gonna be decluttered next to clutter if I don't finish it because it's getting there with age, but not quite, not quite. My No Pore Balm Primer, okay. I'm like keeping almost everything. Love this from Fourth Ray. This from Flower Beauty. The Chill Out Serum's really nice. Lani Peach Glass Skin Primer is really lovely. Again, like I said, a lot of these are new. This is a newer section of my primer collection. You know what though? I need to do something about these Milanis because I didn't realize I literally had like six. I like the Supercharged Primer. Are these the same? This is the Bright Side Illuminating Primer. This isn't even opened. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this one. We're gonna give that one away. So we have the Skin Quench Hydration. Love the peach, keeping that. I like an SPF primer, you know? That's something I need to be better about. And it's good to, okay. We got rid of one. That was something. <laughs> also, love, love, love. My Vesca Soft Skin Radiant Sun. However, I don't think I need all three colors. So I have a pinky one, a blushy toned one, and a golden one. I'm gonna go with first blush. I'm gonna declutter because this one I think would better suit deeper skin tones. Of course, keeping my Auric. So I have these little ones from a set I got from the holidays a couple of years ago. Oops from Farsali. I think it's time to just get rid of these. They're old. I have my NYX The Marshmallow. While I don't particularly like this, it was so trendy that I'm keeping it right now because you never know when I'm gonna do trendy makeup that sucks video. All Nighter Face Primer from Urban Decay is fairly new and it's really nice, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. I am going to pass on this Danessa Myricks Illuminating Veil. I bought this at a makeup show a couple years ago. I don't have any use for it. I'm not particularly in love with the color of this product, and that's my own mistake, but it just doesn't get used, so I am going to get rid of this. Keeping this on the way towards the end of this dang milk primer, so we're keeping that. I like to keep my ColourPop for reference, and Touche Clot Blur Primer is super duper popular, so we're gonna keep that. This from Dior doesn't do too much, but it's new and I spent a lot of money on it, so I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> Revlon Rose Glow Face Primer, gonna keep that, that's new. I do think though that I am going to declutter my MAC Strobe Cream. I actually really, really like this and I used it recently, but honestly, come to think of it, it's kind of old and I just don't wanna put this on my skin anymore. This is something honestly that I would consider repurchasing because I do like it, but it's just old and I have a lot of other illuminating primers, so I'm not going to, but this is lovely. And I think everything else is worth keeping, right? My Rare Beauty primers, Fenty, Ilia, love another Milani primer. They do a good job of primers. Jelly Pop from e.l.f. and their Mint Melt. e.l.f. also has some really good primers as well. Some of the best in the affordable market. You know, we have the Putty primers are bomb. NYX Hydra Touch, this is one of my favorite primers from the drugstore. This is hurting me because this is an amazing product, but this is old in my collection and I have a theory that this makes me break out because it's old. So I'm gonna get rid of this from Bobbi Brown. It still smells so good though, but I just can't justify it. I think, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna repurchase this next year when there's a sale. Not this year. I don't need to add it to my collection again. It's so good though. Oh, I'm sad about that. Okay, but it must be done. It must. So this is all I'm decluttering from the primers. Like I said, it's part of my collection that recently really, really grew. So everything is still really new, but these are going, so yeah.
All right, guys. So I have this eyebrow drawer and I also have this eyebrow drawer. My eyebrow collection, while large, I don't see myself decluttering too terribly much. So I'm gonna always have a dip brow from ABH on hand. <laughs> Nostalgia and I don't know, I feel like I could pull it out for a video idea that I have. This is currently my favorite eyebrow powder, so I'm gonna keep that. One thing that I do see that I am gonna declutter is the Benefit Cabral. This is another pomade and I just don't need to ABH over Benefit. So I'm going to actually throw this away because it's old. I have these Ardell Limitless Enhancers, which I love so much, but I'm just gonna go ahead and keep the more peachy toned one because there's a pinky toned one that I probably won't use as much, but these are underrated products but I'm just not gonna use the pinky one. So I'm going to keep the cream one. Um, I also really like the highbrow from Benefit. Okay, while I love this Gucci pencil, it's in the shade Auburn and doesn't match me at all. So I'm not getting rid of this. I'm just going to sharpen this and put it in my makeup kit for when I have somebody that does have Auburn hair. I'm gonna keep my Gucci Brun color. I am going to declutter this terrible Maybelline Tattoo Studio pencil. It is horrific. Also going to get rid of one of these brow blades because one of these is the right color and one of these is not. So brunette is way too warm for me. This is brunette Betty, sorry. So I am going to actually throw this away because it's old, but I'm keeping neutral Nana, keeping my IT Cosmetics, even though you can't get this Marc Jacobs anymore, I love it, so I'm keeping it. Do I need all these brow pencils from ColourPop? Yeah, I think I do. Like, this one is great. What are, this is like the normal brow boss. Yeah, okay, we're keeping <laughs> these. Favorite of mine. This one is also really good. Good to have a Nick. My Isam is an all-time favorite. Elf, good to keep. Huda keeping M Cosmetics. Some, this is for blonde people though. So I'm going to put this in my makeup kit because it's a great pencil. My Sephora. I don't love this, but I'm keeping it for reference. And Rare Beauty, I cannot stand this. This is one of the worst brow pencils in my opinion, but I, it's such a relevant brand that for my job, I'm gonna keep it just to trash talk. Uh, so I didn't really do too much with eyebrows and I knew I wouldn't. I've been pretty on top of my brow stuff, but I am getting rid of four brow pencils and then I'm transferring two that are not my color into my makeup kit. And now let's go on to like eyebrow gels, things of that nature. So okay, let me dump this. I have a number of like colored brow gels in here and I'm going to be picky about the colored ones that I keep because I'm not... As big of a fan of them. I used colored brow gels when I was a teacher because it was quick and dirty. Now I don't do that, but the Ardell is good. The Kosas is good. I have one from Sigma, the one that has the color bottom I'm going to declutter, but I'm keeping the clear Sigma brow gel, which is good. Keeping my ADH, my nude sticks is amazing. This one is amazing. Okay, most of these I am gonna keep though, now that I think about it. I don't remember what I think of this. I'm gonna keep it then. Let's see. Kosas Clear, keeping my e.l.f. for reference. M Cosmetics. Okay, so I guess I'm keeping most of these. My Brow Boss from ColourPop's good. Patrick Ta, my current favorite. And do I have two e.l.f. Wild Brows? Neutral Brown? Okay. No reason for having two of these, so I'm gonna keep one and declutter the other. This one seems newer. So I'm only decluttering two brow gels, which is fine. I'm gonna throw them away because they're kind of icky. Keeping my ABH glue for the eyebrows, and I do have these ColourPop ones. I'm gonna keep the clear one, and I have one that is tinted. I'm just going to give this one away. So brows are done, that was easy. I mean, this is in a random order, but we have lots of concealers. So let me dump these and clean out the bin. All right, so I noticed in one of my bins that there was a leak and it was this Kylie Cosmetics uh, Concealer, which honestly, I really love this mascara, but if it's leaking, we gotta get rid of it. So buy to that. I'm gonna get rid of this Koki just because it's way too white on me. Keep this concealer is my favorite drugstore concealer from Milani. 
I have my ABH concealer, which is fire. One size is brand new. I don't love the hourglass, but she's expensive. <laughs> I do think it is time for me to get rid of my Maybelline Age Rewind concealers, which you can see got very good use. This is a very good drugstore concealer, but time to say goodbye because they're old. These are actually new from Flower Beauty. Like I said, they recently replenished me, so I'm gonna keep these. I think I'm gonna get rid of this Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. It just creases like no other, so I'm gonna say goodbye to that one. What are these? Super Size Conceal and Define, and this is Conceal and Hydrate from Makeup Revolution. I don't love their concealers, but I also don't dislike them, so I have three different versions, but I'm gonna keep them. They're good enough. Tarte Ultra Creamy we're keeping. I'm finally gonna get rid of this Marc Jacobs Extra Shot Concealer. This is fairly new, but I really don't like this. This is Crease Central, and since Marc Jacobs is like no longer, I guess. Like, keeping my Ilia, keeping my Jouer, even though this is painfully white. <laughs> I do like it though. And the Makeup Forever, we're gonna keep. Keeping my Armani, keep. Laura Mercier, we'll keep. I'm thinking mostly everything here is a keep. I'm going to declutter. No, I'm not. We're gonna keep that. Most of these are keeps now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, so I have like three different e.l.f. concealers, and if you don't know, e.l.f. has very, very good concealer formula. I like to mix all three of these shades, all four of these shades. They're super good. I also saw on TikTok that the uh, creamy concealer, somebody liked to use them as foundation, so I'm going to try that. Dior is one of my favorites. Okay, and then I mix these two color pops. Okay, honestly though, I am cluttering like five concealers, so that's not terrible, right? I, like I said, I did declutter just a few months ago, and I did a good job. Good enough, apparently, that I don't have anything to declutter this round, so yay. We have so many powders. Let me <laughs> zoom out, because I have another one. And this is a drawer. When I tell you it's been overwhelming me because I've been shoving powders in here. So uh, let's let's declutter. Let's do it. I don't want to drop all these on the ground. I don't want them to break, but that's okay. <laughs> ah! Oh jeez. That did not go as I had pictured it. Again, let's do it again. <laughs> don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Okay. Okay, so the problem with powders is they just take up so much dang space. Okay, let's see. So the first thing that I know I'm going to declutter, this MAC one. I actually just used this recently for a video. This is a mi mineralized skin finish, and it's a beautiful setting powder, but we're almost done with it, so let's just make more space, right? <laughs> Keeping my Pro Filter from... Fenty, this is incredible. And a super underrated powder, by the way, the Nabla powders, super smoothing, gorgeous. I like to keep drugstore powders around. I don't use this Maybelline Fit Me Press powder as much, but I like to have it. I also have some Aquasurance from J-Cat. This is a phenomenal powder foundation, so I'm gonna keep that. Now, powder foundations are more of a thing of the past for me just because I used to wear them to work and now I don't have that job anymore. But still, I like a good powder foundation. This is an old powder foundation from Maybelline, but they've reformulated it. And I like this one better, so I'm going <laughs> to continue to keep that. My It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better. I recently actually decluttered an old one that I had, so that's why that's not in here. An e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder we're going to keep. I'm trying to find all of my, my pressed powders. I don't think there's really any that I want to declutter because I don't come by too many good Pressed powders. I'm a pressed powder junkie for powder foundation. This Jouer is beautiful as a powder foundation. It has a slight glow to it. I'm going to get rid of this Benefit. I could live without this Benefit Velvet Powder Foundation. I do... No, I'm keeping it. <laughs> what is wrong with me? My Gucci powder foundation is phenomenal. This is what I was thinking. KVD, I've only used this like twice because I bought it for a video. 
So I'm going to have to use it more, but I didn't like it the first time that I used it. But this is on the chopping block eventually. I think that's all the powder foundations. I have this Wonder 2, which is fairly new. This is pretty nice. Okay, okay. I'm going to get rid of this benefit. What, <laughs> what am I doing? I'm acting like a maniac. Keeping, yeah, I'm keeping almost everything for my pressed powders, but I'm weird about my pressed powders. Let me go into my loose powders because this I can be a little bit more cutthroat like this one I have been waiting to declutter from flower beauty this satin finishing powder this has got to go and it takes up so much room I'm also going to get rid of this Koki translucent setting powder I just have so much setting powder no reason really I'm getting rid of that other than I just have so much I do like my air spun by Cody oh here's my Sephora that I'm keeping milk makeup's good like I want to get rid of this Tatcha but it's so bad I like to trash talk it so <laughs> I'm gonna keep it I am gonna get rid of both my Kylie and my KKW it's just time you know they don't sell these anymore so let me get rid of that color pop I'm gonna keep I use that for vacation I'm trying to think is there anything else that I want to get rid of oh my gosh I forgot about this oh Halo Glow. This is nice. La Mer is treasured by me. I do like this KKW to add color to my face. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to get rid of this one from Maybelline. This is the Lasting Fix Banana Powder. I just don't use banana powders. They don't really fit my color. But I think everything else, honestly, is worth keeping. I love powders for having such dry skin. I love powder. Yeah, I think everything else is good. And I like to keep these little uh, loose setting powders even though I don't use them too often because I actually do travel with these because they don't break. Um, that was less successful than I thought it was gonna be, but it is what it is. Let's put it back. Okay, let's fill all of my bigger powders in here. Like airspun, huge for no reason. And this Patrick Ta, pa no, Patrick Star MAC powder, big for no reason. ABH, like I need to use this more just so I can get rid of it because it's so big. Hourglass is big. We're just putting all the big ones at the bottom and then we'll fill everything else in. The loose powders first to start are going in here. No particular order, just however they fit, you know? Okay, cool. Loose powders are all good. They fit in one drawer. That's nice, because that was not the case before, because we really had some space suckers in there. Let's do my press powder. Oh, okay. Let's do my press powder drawer, which has a lot of money. I'm gonna try and keep more of my powder foundations on one side and more of my setting powders on the other side. So powder foundations, let's keep over here. So I do have a lot more room than I thought I would. This drawer is not going to be organized very well, but it's fine. It is what it is. <laughs> okay, happy with the powder declutter. We got rid of seven powders and it saved a lot of space because of this thing. So I'm going to eat breakfast but and take a little bit of a break. But so far we've been doing good, friends. Okay, so the next drawers that I pulled out were cream blushes. And honestly, I actually recently went through these and organized them. So I don't know that I'll declutter too much. Like this drawer right here, I'm definitely not decluttering anything. These are all of my nude sticks, blush sticks, which I love these and they're great. And I love the uniformity of it all. And then I also have my Chanel balm sticks and these I don't love quite as much uh, there's some in here that I'm not a big fan of but it's Chanel so I'm keeping these and this drawer is just gonna stay as is it's these drawers that I'm gonna kind of go through and decide but again even looking like I don't really see anything that I want to declutter let's go through this drawer first Okay, so first thing I noticed right away is that I have some powder blush formulas from Patrick Ta, which are lovely, 
but I really don't want them in this drawer because I will never think to reach for them in this drawer. So I'm just gonna put these to the side until we get to our powder blushes. Let's start going. So I have my Westman Atelier. This is more of like a highlight blush. I paid a lot of money for this, so it shall stay here. I have these four Milani Cheek Kisses, which are really beautiful. I think I'm going to pass on the darkest shade just because I'm not gonna wear it as often. But the rest of the three, ah, do I want this one? This one is a bit bright, Blushing Berry. I think I'm gonna give this to one of my friends who has a deeper skin tone. And I'm gonna keep these two for myself. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the serum blushes from ColourPop. I am going to keep Cherish You and then Sour Cherry I'm gonna give away. Just because I like to keep one of each formula at the very least if I don't love the product just for the sake of my job. So I'm going to get rid of one of these colors. As you can see, I'm getting rid of all the darkest colors that very clearly just won't work for me. This Wet n Wild blush stick is really, really awesome. Oh my gosh, I love it. I haven't used this in a while. I should pull it out. But this is a gem from the drugstore and it's literally just a few bucks. We have the e.l.f. Monochromatic Stick. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this. I've made it work in the past. Again, sometimes I do do full deep e.l.f. deep dives. So I'm going to keep that for that purpose. I have my e.l.f. putty blushes here. These are pretty good. I do like these. I think I'm going to get rid of this deepest color. Again, I'm trying to keep things that I, like this is not even used. Okay, <laughs> well, I don't know why I have this. It's so dark. Okay, I do love these Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. These are, as they're called, they're bomb. So I'm keeping all of these. Ugh, what is this, an Honest Beauty Blush? This is really nice, a great, kind of affordable. It's like the expensive end of affordable, but it's a good cream blush, so I'm gonna keep that. And the blush sticks from ColourPop, I'm not sure. Let me see the colors. I like them, but I don't love them. I do like this color, though. Do I want all of these? Let me see the colors here. That's pretty. I like that. And I like the packaging of these. Uh, I think I could give this one away. I don't need it so deep. About this one. Ooh, a nude color. Okay. So I'm going to give away the color Coastal Drive. Just because... I don't need this many cream blushes. I like cream blushes, but I don't use them. But I'm a powder girl at the end of the day, so there's no reason for me to have these deep colors that I'm not gonna use. But we do have more cream blushes. I think these are more of my high-end cream blushes, though I did squeeze the Westman Atelier. It must not have fit. But let's deal with these. I'm gonna have a harder time with these because I spend more money on these. So now that I'm more into thinking about it, I think I'm gonna put like blush sticks in one and then pots in the other. We'll see how it fits, but let's go through this drawer really fast. So I have my collection of my Tower 28 blushes. These are incredible. I don't care how deep the colors are. I am keeping all of them. They are super duper good. This Rare Beauty blush, I like this. I think it's very nice, but it literally disappears in like 10 minutes on my face. I keep it because Rare Beauty is a brand that I will cover on my channel, but it's not my favorite. I am going to declutter this Ink Bounce Blush. I've only used it once, and I didn't really like it the first time that I used it, so it's not ever going to get used by me. So I'm going to declutter that. Keeping all of my Fenty cream stuff. <laughs> I definitely talked a lot of doo-doo on this product from Natasha Denona. I just feel like they don't show up on my face and they disappear. But since Natasha Denona is a main brand on my channel, I need to continue to have these to talk trash about them. So these are staying. <laughs> um, I do have one, what is this? NARS Air Matte Blush. I don't really like this color. I think a lot of people like the formula of this, but this color is not very good. I don't have this formula in another color, so I'm gonna keep it, but I'm not in love with this. Uh, these are weird. So the formula on these, this is from Grande, really great, but it's supposed to plump your face. It's kind of that same ingredient and it just feels weird on the cheek, but the product themselves, really nice. You know, I don't really see anything here that I'm going to declutter. I have my Kosas, my beautiful melt. These MAC blushes are really, really great if you hadn't tried them yet. Ilia. Yeah, I don't see anything here that I'm going to declutter because everything is really, really nice. If it's not nice, it's just like the only of the formula that I have. So I like to hold on to it just to know about the product. So everything in here is good. 
It was the other one that I needed to clean out. I know I'm just looking at this. If you haven't tried the Daniel Sandler watercolor liquid sheet colors, this is absolutely beautiful. This is a newer product in my collection. Let me organize these by style. Because before I had them organized between drugstore and high end, but uh, I don't think I need to do that anymore. So let me put these pots over here. Okay, there we go. So this makes a little bit more sense to me. So I have like my potted cream stuff here and my blush sticks here. This drawer I think is gonna stay the same. I hate liquid highlights, liquid and cream. So I don't own too many. Like I think this is it. Maybe a few will pop out some way or another, but these are it as far as liquid highlighters. So I'm just gonna keep everything in here because I have a variety of formulas. Milk, ColourPop, Bronze, Ilia, and Rare Beauty, and this is all I need. I just don't like these types of products. Okay, so here, more or less, is my contours and bronzer. So I think I have more of my sticks in here and then my pots in here. Some didn't fit in here. I already see some things I want to declutter, like this KKW stick is, ugh, smells terrible. This is super old, so <laughs> let's get rid of that. I like this NYX Wonder Stick, but I think this one, yeah also smells like crayons so let's get rid of these keeping these around from me what are these wet and wild these are really good and super cheap yeah, and they still smell okay so honestly though mm, this one smells a little off yeah so the lighter one that i have is good but the darker one from wet and wild is old so let's get rid of that one the rest are fairly new i have my a contour from armani I have two Haley's Beauty. I think these are supposed to be foundation sticks, but they're deeper colors to contour with. Shantikai gel bronzer, and then I use this Armani sometimes to contour with. So these are good. Just got rid of the old ones. Okay, let's take a dive in here because this one's going to be a little messier. All right, so right away, I know I am getting rid of this Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer in Amber. I don't know why about this shade, but this is just a terrible shade for me, so I'm gonna get rid of this. You have my Patrick Ta Cream Bronzer Powder Bronzer Duos. I can't open these. <laughs> these are really lovely. I don't like the shades. I feel like I have to mix both of these to get my perfect bronze look, but the product itself is really nice. I have my two Tower 28 Cream Bronzers. These are nice. These are fairly new. I didn't really know where else to put these, but they have a cream bronzer powder highlight and a cream blush so it's kind of a trio i just keep them here these are from kaja they're they're fine uh the other one i showed you i hadn't used yet but i've used the lighter one a lot i think everything in here is honestly fairly new in the last year like my jacqueline cosmetics abh which is very yellow by the way <laughs> i have this danessa myricks which is the average nars laguna yeah, all of these are newer except for this Chanel. This Chanel is kind of old, but they do not make them like this anymore, so I'm keeping it. And this milk, oof, I love this milk, but it's definitely old. It smells off. Ah, I'm so sad. This was one of my favorite cream bronzers, but I've had it for quite some time. I'm going to have to see if I can get this in the small travel size. This is one that I actually want to repurchase. Just the smaller version. I don't need this giant stick, but it's a great formula, but it smells nasty. Make sure you smell your, your cream products, you guys, because it shouldn't smell like a crown and everything else smells good. I have this elf one right here, and then this is a fancy one, but a biscuit that is a good color. Okay, we actually did really good with the creams. Let me put these back and I'll show you. So all of these look good. I have my pots and such in here, and then I have my sticks in here. And then I'm actually, I got rid of a lot more cream products than I thought I was going to, but I mean, they just got old, you know, for the most part, they weren't my color. Like this is, it'll add up. This is pretty good for me. I don't have the largest cream collection, so I'm not mad at that. Let's move, right, on. Let's move on to bronzers. At the current moment, I have mine organized by Luxury high-end and then more affordable i like that yeah i do see some stuff not a ton but some stuff that could use a decluttering so let's start off right here with the drugstore bin i'm gonna keep it this way because i like it 
keeping my Maybelline bronzers. They're awesome. This is awesome. Um, I do think it's... No, actually, I'm kidding. This is the only ColourPop bronzer that I have, and I do a lot of ColourPop videos, so I'm going to keep this. I am going to get rid of this Morphe. No, I like this too. <laughs> I don't have a lot of drugstore bronzers. I know Nubla isn't really drugstore, but it fit better here. Elf is good. Like, I really have one of every brand. I have two shades of the Elf. I think everything in here is worth keeping because it's actual like a minimum of having really only one per drugstore brand so and I do want to incorporate more drugstore products so I want to keep those okay here let me see I do need to get rid of this Too Faced Sweetheart bronzer this was one of my favorite bronzers for the longest but this is super old so we're gonna get rid of that what's this this is the Ofra and Samantha March so we're gonna keep that Let's get rid of the Kylie Tequila Tan. This is old. We have the new one, Khaki. The Jouet is new. Love the Vesca. Is this cream? No, this is powder. This is from Fenty. This is nice. Kosas is great. Kimchi is great. I think everything in here is fairly new. This is old. Let me smell it. Does it smell, still smell like delicious chocolate? Mm, yeah, this I think might need to be declared next time, but it still has like a good six months. I am going to get rid of these. These are from a few years ago from a Tarte Holiday collection. It's just time. I've used these for a lot, so I'm going to say goodbye, but I did love these. Tarte comes out with these sets every year. I know they came out with one this year, but this year I decided was the year I was going to stop. These are from last year's. I'm going to go ahead and keep these because I like these. I wish they still came out with their Amazonian clay palettes because I used those in my makeup kit because the formula is so good. But everything else in here is quite nice. Uh, you know what? I think it's time that I get rid of this. This has to be old. There's no point. I have so many bronzers. I'm going to get rid of this one too. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, last one. I don't think I'm getting rid of anything here. They're all pretty new. I have this Marc Jacob one that is old, but I love this bronzer. And I think everything else in here. Yeah, this is good. Let me smell this one. Okay, yeah. So everything in here, the luxury bronzers. There was a luxury bronzer craze, like this year so all of these are new i have my wing gosh okay so that's good i ended up decluttering like five bronzers <laughs> which is pretty good so i got rid of an, all of these old ones all right guys blush is gonna be a situation because i have a lot of blushes so this is like my favorite luxury blush drawer i don't think anything in here is gonna go but we'll take a look i have three other drawers packed absolutely packed with blushes so i didn't film this but i actually combined my drugstore and my high-end bronzers because there was just so much space i thought it was wasted so now i have an extra drawer in case i need it for blushes but we'll see let's start off with the luxury blushes because that's the one that's gonna stay as it is for a while so obviously, I'm taking all these out because I need to clean the drawer, but I'm keeping my pat, keeping all of my precious, precious Dior, keeping my Chanel, Shanta, Kai, Hourglass, Laura. Okay, I'm going to declutter this from NARS. <laughs> There's little things being decluttered, but that's it. Shanta, Kai, Tom Ford. These were like $90. I'll keep them for the rest of my life. <laughs> more chanel which one is this oh my gosh yes gorgeous okay everything in here i'm gonna keep the only thing i'm gonna do i think i accidentally put my cream patrick blushes in here i'm gonna put these with my cream blushes and i'm gonna put my actual patrick tall blushes that was with my cream blushes in here these are powder i'm gonna clean this drawer and everything is gonna go back to where it was i'm keeping everything besides that nars in this drawer. start off with this drawer so these kimchi blushes are new love these nablas i do think it's time to get rid of this gorgeous blush this is camellia from becca absolutely stunning you can't buy becca anymore so it's kind of wasting space in my collection this blush was my favorite blush when i was working just because of the texture of it it blended beautifully on top of my foundations my powder foundations this is from mac this is the patrick star collection but 
I think it's time for that to go, but I love the formula of that. I'm going to get rid of this Sigma Corderosa blush because I have it in a palette. I have the entire Corderosa collection, though I will say I feel like that color is a bit different. But anyways, I don't need it and I've had it for a long time. See MAC Melba Classic, keeping that. I'm trying to think, do I want to get rid of any of these? Nope, don't want to get rid of that. Nope, love that. Love that. Okay, we're keeping all of those. This Jacqueline Cosmetics is new. Bare Minerals is new. Sephora collection. For variety, I'm keeping that. Makeup by Mario. I have the new Kylie Cosmetics blush. Okay, so let's go through these. I used to love these blushes, and I still think they're great colors, but you can't get them anymore. So I don't know. What color is this one? Winter Kiss. I thought I had another one. Pink Power. I like Pink Power a lot. I might keep that. Gonna get rid of Close to Perfect. I don't really wear that. We'll get rid of Batty on the Block. I love these blushes, though. We're going shopping, I will keep. This one's pretty. <laughs> oh, here's Pink Power. Okay, I have Pink Power, so let me get rid of Pink Power. And because I'm having regret, I'm going to keep Batty on the Block. Because I just love pink blushes, and I think this formula from Kylie is really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and keep these. But I did get rid of two, which, when I tell you that's an accomplishment, accept it. <laughs> um, eventually, I'm going to predict next year I'll get rid of these Kylie's. But I legitimately use these a lot, and they look pretty in the front of my storage. So I always need at least two. Okay, so this one I feel like is a bunch of random blushes. So let's see what we have. This Milani Romantic Rose is absolutely stunning. I'm going to keep that. I have some Flower Beauty blushes. I like this. I want to keep some Flower Beauty stuff. But I think I'm going to get rid of Warm Hibiscus. It's a bit too shiny for me. I don't have a use for that. Okay, I have a number of these. Okay, I need to keep Luminoso because that is iconic. I am going to get rid of Bella Bellini just because it's a bit too shiny for me again and I'm going to keep Berry Amour. This one's a little bit more neutral. I'm keeping my Essence Satin Blushes because they're awesome. Okay, so I remember I bought this for a video like bestsellers on ulta.com and then this one was a blush, a bestseller. I'm keeping this because I have in mind one day I want to do in Ulta Beauty, like the cosmetic brand full face. So I'm gonna keep that for a video. I have an e.l.f. blush, which is beautiful. So everything in here is really, really stunning. This is from Wonder 2. I've been liking these. These are super duper old from Wet n Wild. I've had these for a while. I've kept them around just because I like to have them for reference, but I mean, they're old, so I'm gonna get rid of these. Oh, this one is beautiful from Flower. I have a couple e.l.f. These are new. I feel like e.l.f. has overtaken Wet n Wild. People are going the e.l.f. route, not Wet n Wild. Uh, this is fairly new for me. This is an e.l.f. blush palette. I am going to declutter this from ColourPop. It is stunning, but I just don't use it. It's a ColourPop pressed powder blush in the shade Foxy. I'm going to give this away. I don't need it, but it's very pretty. Um, let's see. Is there any Ofra ones that I want to give away? I don't feel like I need all of these. So that's beautiful. This is Unit, okay. I like that it's a duo. Crew and this one. Oh man, I don't know. So I actually think I'm going to give this one away to somebody. It's just a bit too deep for my preference. And I'll keep this blush. And since I kept that mauve year blush, I'm gonna keep Crew, which is a little bit more peachy. And then I'm going to get rid of Unit. Yeah, let's do that. Because I don't need all of these Ofra ones. Successful declutter there. That's good. So I'm definitely going to have to do a little bit of reorganization. Let's see. This one right here is the last drawer of blushes. I have quite a lot of ColourPop. And then let me show you. I have a lot of these Burt's Bees. So I'm going to get rid of this one. No, I'm not. These are all really pretty. Bare Peach. No, okay. I like all of these, so I'm keeping these. I'm going to put them in the other drawer, though. This from Mamond is really pretty. I like that. Let's see, is this... This is from the Tarte Holiday Collection. I don't really reach for this, honestly, but I don't have any other Tarte blushes, so I am going to keep that. Ooh, these are from ZC. These are cute. 
I like these. I am gonna get rid of one just because they're kind of close in color and that's my mistake from ordering them. I'm gonna keep this one and then I'll pass on number three. But these are nice blushes. Okay, the rest, I have a couple Kaleidos duos. I wanna keep these around because I like Kaleidos and I already decluttered one because it was too deep for me. I have all of my Odin's eyes, which I'm gonna keep. And then the rest of these are my ever-growing ColourPop blush collection. And ColourPop comes out with some really bomb blushes. So let me see. Ooh, that's really pretty. What about this one? Seeing if there's any colors that I want to get rid of. I don't think there's going to be because the ColourPop blushes, I'm keeping the Hello Kitties and the Powerpuff Girls just because they're so cute and the Sailor Moon and the Mulan. Like this is my childhood right here, all of them. Powerpuff Girls, Sailor Moon, Hello Kitty and Mulan. If you're an Asian girl, <laughs> this should be your childhood. So I have to keep that. And then this mauve color. I really love the packaging of this. I don't think I need this one though. Well, no, I'm just gonna keep it, okay. <laughs> so I don't think I'm decluttering anything from this drawer, but let me show you what I did declutter. So in terms of the individual blushes, I honestly did better than I thought I was going to. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 blushes. And that freed up some space. So I'm gonna clean everything up and we're gonna move on to highlights. All right, highlights. I am not short for highlights either. Rest assured, I have two big drawers and then a smaller drawer. So right now how I have them organized is more affordable, more high-end, and then luxury. I have a harder time decluttering luxury because <laughs> they were pricey. So I'm definitely keep, 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 keep. Okay, I think I'm <laughs> keeping everything in here. What is this? Dior, Tom Ford, Chanel, Givenchy, Chanel, another Dior. Side note, Mel made me buy this. So keeping that, that was her favorite highlight for a long time. Um, Natasha, okay. This drawer remains as is. It's the next two drawers that we can get a little selective with. So let's start off with my high-end drawer. I'm gonna zoom you in just a little bit. So I certainly do not need two artist coutures. They're loose, I never go for loose. I'm gonna get rid of Illuminati because it is a bright white. Keeping this, keeping Jacqueline. I have three Jouet highlights. I'm getting rid of Citrine because I think they sent me a full size or was it Topaz that they sent me? I'll have to come back to you on these because I do have like a full size one that they sent me. You know what? Maybe I'll give away the full size one. Wait, I was in college when I got these. These are old. I'm getting rid of all three of these. <laughs> I got this in a set at Nordstrom for the holidays. I think like my sophomore or junior year of college, which is like 2000. Okay, these have got to go. Bye. <laughs> Lorac, I think I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> I'm getting rid of Becca Opal. It's just old. Same thing with this duo. Oh my goodness. I still have the Jaclyn Cosmetics split pans here, but these are... Oh, I want to keep it, but I'm going to get rid of it. I have hand on it, though. Ilya is new. This is from Touch of Glam Beauty. It's a pizza. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I'm keeping that. Aether, Kylie. There's Persona's good. What about Miss Becca Prosecco Pop? This is also super old. These are just like early Jaclyn Hill days. My early youtube watching days so i'm gonna get rid of that let's see vesca do i need both of these i love my vesca highlights but it's just a matter of no they're both good i like my vesca my nabla makeup by mario keeping these mac classic what is this oh this one oh i forgot this one's kind of old i got this one the it for Fenty first launch but i'm gonna hold on to it i need to use that i forgot about that wow this is from Fenty. It's not gonna be dark on me. I think I'm gonna give this away. That's Sandcastle. Let's see, are there Ofra highlights? This is the Samantha March one. What is this one? 
milk and cookies. Oh wait, this one is scented. Honestly, I think this is from like the first Samantha March launch. It's a bit light on me, a bit too blinding, so I think I'm gonna get rid of that. Very pretty though. So I did get rid of a handful of highlights. That was good, Morgan. Okay, let's keep keep her moving to the last drawer. So this is more affordable brands, and I think this one will be able to get some work done. Like, I'm gonna get rid of this. Mm, I don't know, maybe I'll keep that. <laughs> I'm terrible. Okay, these are old. These are Super Shock from Kathleen Light's collection a while ago. I, huh, but I really like them, and I really like this. Uh, and I really like the Pixie by Petra. I don't need both of these from Sydney Grace. They're really good, but I just don't be using highlights like that that are loose. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of Sweet Peach because it's a little darker. These are like from when ColourPop very first launched. Uh, they still feel amazing, but they are old, so I need to get rid of this one. And what about Lunch Money? These are super pretty on the cheek when you use a sponge to apply them and they feel good. But I got them when I was in college still. So I got these when I was in college too. I'm going to keep these. <laughs> Don't judge me. Okay, maybe it's really good. Let me make sure these are both colors that I like. Yeah, these are good. Elf are fairly new. They are nice. Touch and soul. Cute, cute, cute. Maybe I'm not going ham like I thought I would. This Milani is beautiful. ZC is beautiful. Okay, this is old. This is Precious Petals from Wet n Wild. This was one of my favorite highlights for the longest. But I've had this for like a lifetime. <laughs> Same thing with this gold bar from Wet n Wild. I've just held on to my Wet n Wild stuff just because. But I haven't bought Wet n Wild in years. This is the most unique highlight ever. It's definitely on the older side. But I'm holding on to it just like I am all of these. Just for reference. Revlon is pretty new. I like this a lot. I actually use this a lot from Flower. Um, and these are all my Odin's eyes. So these are new. Look at these. These are like, oh my gosh, keeping all of these. Okay, so I have like so many of these Kaleidos. So I'm gonna actually go through these to see which ones I need and which ones I don't. Because I do keep these for more, I suppose, galactic looks. And I just love Kaleidos, period. Okay, this one came broken, so... I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm just gonna, I have du duplicates of the Space Age. Okay, I'm gonna keep all of these though because they're super fun. But let me reorganize this really quickly. We did declutter and we did pretty good for me. Definitely more fresh now. Got rid of my old nasty highlights. And we have all of these that I'm decluttering. Awesome. All right, let's move on to the next portion, shall we? All right, so now we're gonna get into a lot of little drawers like the pencils, the mascaras. So right here, I have Hecka mascaras and liquid liners. I don't even know, you guys. Well, let me go through my mascaras first. So these are all of the mascaras that are currently in use. And honestly, it's a little, it's a little crazy for me. So let me go over what I've used for a bit too long, which I think I've used my ZC for a bit too long. This I've used a bit too long, but I'm saving this because I'm going to feature it in a video soon. Lash It Loud is pretty new. We can keep these. I have recently gotten rid of some mascaras, so I think we're we're good here. It's just this DC one that I'm getting rid of, and these have not been used. So these are mascaras in use. Now my problem is I have a few mascaras and it's completely unorganized because I have unused mascaras around my whole room, but all of these are not in use. Honestly, why do I have two of these? I'm gonna throw away the old one and let me just put a new one in here. I have like three mascaras. I'm gonna put these in my mascaras. I haven't used drawers. Those should not be in here. Okay, my um, eyeliners. Let me see which ones are dried. So I'm keeping this. Color pop. Are we dry? No. Let's just go through and see if any 
Okay, look, this M Cosmetics one. Love the wand on this, but dry. So we'll get rid of that. Not dry, my hands, I'm gonna have to wash them after this. I know this one is like way too. Like you see why I don't like this Natasha Denona? You see how it like ran into all of the lines on my hands? The rest don't do that. That's why I don't like this one. Fenty, this one should be good, it's new. Yeah, this is good. What about ZC? Oh, this is a gray color. Interesting. I'm gonna keep doing this. Let me fast forward. Okay, that was better than I expected. I only had one dried out. I think though, I'm pretty on top of my liners. Like if I use them and they're dried, I just kind of throw them in the trash. So here are my liquid and one gel liner. That is good. So this one should be interesting. I actually just recently got this kit from ColourPop. So I'm going to, if I have any of the colors in here that are in here, I'm just going to switch them out for a new one. Because I do think I have some repeats. This is um, a bit crazy. But this way I can ensure that I have fresh new ones from this set. So I'm going to declutter that. I don't need that. And I have like duplicates of some colors. This one seems drier. Wait, are these the same color? Yes. So let me declutter both of these. Look at this, you guys. I was able to declutter all of these ColourPop liners. I feel like the new set that I have feels so much creamier and nicer. I don't know if it's because it's fresh, but anyways. I have more eyeliners. This is like random eyeliners. Interesting. I'm getting rid of this Ulta one because I don't like it. Love my Novla ones. Immediately keeping this one. Definitely keeping my Wayne Goss. I have another Ulta one here. I just don't like the Ulta ones. It's a waste. I need to stop. This Elf one. Wonder 2. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this Marc Jacobs one because it is super old both of these are super old so let me get rid of those keeping milk this is a liquid liner let me put this with my liquid liners nabla pat nabla fenty how's this one feel that feels good from urban sauna natasha okay okay that's good i think all of these are still relatively new so we'll keep these. Um, okay, so I don't even know where to begin with these ColourPop lip liners. I'm just, I think I'm just gonna keep all of them. I grab into these all the time when I need a funky lip color. I got a huge vault, I think a year or two ago. So we're just gonna keep these. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother. The, yeah, sure, I could individually go through each, but you know what, if it's perfectly in this drawer, and as long as this drawer isn't overflowing, then I'll keep it. Like this drawer of my ColourPop liners, this was overflowing, so I went through it. We still have time with this one. Okay, and lastly, I've been <laughs> needing to tackle my lip liner drawer. I don't even know, look at all these. This is nuts. Okay, I'm gonna put on my podcast and I'm going to work through this. Uh, I just am going to go through and see either I really hate the color or they are older than me. So let's do that. Okay, I did lighten the load just a little bit. I got rid of just brands that I've had for a while. Does anybody remember the Maybelline and Gigi Hadid collection? That was a good collection, but I think it's time to get rid of those. And then I just have a few others, but that's it for the eyeliners, lip liners, and mascaras. All in all, this is what we're saying goodbye to, which is pretty good. And I think it left a little bit of growing room for the other drawers. So I'm gonna clean my hand and we're gonna start working on the lips, which is a task that I've been dreading. <laughs> my lipstick drawers, this isn't all my lip products. I have a full desk drawer filled with lips, but these are what I keep in my acrylic containers. So let's work through these first. A lot of them are organized by like brands. So for example, just in this drawer, I have some of my favorite ColourPop 
collaboration packaging. Like, I'm sorry. I'm keeping my Sailor Moon packaging. And I think the Barbie packaging is just too cute. I don't know. This... This is a little bit hoarderish for me, I'm not going to lie, but it's fine. We're, we're keeping these. They're too cute. Too cute to not keep, so I'm not ready to get rid of those yet. Here I have all of my lip oils, and these are still good. I actually use my Viseart quite a lot. I am going to get rid of this Clarins. It's a little bit too bubblegummy looking on the lips. But I have my Dior, my Viseart Jaclyn Cosmetics. So this is my lip oils that I'm keeping. Okay, these aren't lips. These are some eye products. Uh, like These are from Deck of Scarlet. They're really neat, so I'm keeping these. So what are these? I have some Maven liquid liners. These are pretty good too. Wow, okay, these I need to put with my eye drawer. So I'm going to put that over to the side. Okay, this drawer I do need to go through because I have some liquid lips that are from when ColourPop first started. So I'm going to smell some of these. Ugh, that smells like a true crayon. I think most of these should be bad. I honestly should just get rid of all of them. Gross. Oh, that's sad. I used to love these colors. Okay, at this point, I'm getting rid of all of these because they all smell gross. This one, the least, but we're not even going to risk it. Oh, Magic Wand. That was Kathleen Light's favorite. A lot of these are per recommendation of Kathleen Light's, but I think all of these have seen better days except for these. These are a new collection from ColourPop. So I think I'm going to leave that one open to new ColourPop stuff because I have a lot of ColourPop stuff in a different drawer that I'm going to consolidate into here. And... Yeah, I was wearing some of these lips in college. At the very least, that made my <laughs> declutter pile instantly really, really big. So I'll keep these. I have a whole collection of these that I can add into this drawer. I am keeping all of my Wayne Gus stuff. It just looks good together, you know, and these are new. By the way, I could not get all of my eyeliner off <laughs> from doing the liner swatches. These are all of my Odin's Eye liquid lips. Don't they just look so beautiful and uniform together? Definitely keeping all of these. I have a thing with like the uniformity collective aspect of it all, as you know. Um, and these are my more, oops, affordable lip glosses. I'm gonna have to go through these. So let's see. Like this is new, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, I'm going to individually go through and smell all of these. Like, this is new, so I'm keeping that. These are new. It's the ones towards the bottom that are going to be questionable. This I have never used, so let me give that away. Um, these Olimars are kind of old. Let me smell them. They smell off. I'm throwing them away. Eh. Okay, so these came out when the brand first launched, but it's been a few years, so let me just better safe than sorry. Let's try these. Mmm, they still smell good. I might just keep, like, one of them. So the lip products, I'm definitely going to have an easier time decluttering because I haven't been into lips lately, as you guys know. And a lot of my lip products just need their own way because they're old. These still smell like a pina colada. So I'm keeping two of them, three of them. I'm just going to get rid of this bronzy one. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Okay, this is old. We'll get rid of that. This Morphe lip gloss is leaking, so we'll get rid of that. This smells terrible. You will really be able to tell when your lip colors turn because they smell awful. I think I'm going to need to repurchase some Morphe lip glosses. Like Boho is one of my favorites. I don't know if it's... I think Boho is fine, but the other one, which was Chill, not fine. But I would like to buy just new ones in general. You know what? No, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm not gonna hold on to it. This elf thing, I'm never gonna use. So this elf retro paradise, I just don't need it. <laughs> and let me smell this Milani. This smells good, but again, I will probably never use it. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Keeping all of these Maybelline ones. These are new and I know that, or at least they're not less than a year old. So I'm gonna keep all these back here. I do not like the way my Kaleidos ones are smelling, so I'm just going to get rid of those too. Huh, okay, I really cleaned out that drawer. But this is the one that's going to uh, 
<laughs> the something. Well, let me show you so far what we've done so I can put these in the trash because all of these cannot be reused, I'm sure. I am decluttering all of these. Isn't that awesome? That's These a lot. are all of my high-end lip glosses. Let's work through them. I think a lot of these should be relatively new. Decluttering this ABH one because I don't like the color of it anymore. Keeping my Fenty, my Dior. Let me smell this MAC one. I got this out of CCO, so yeah. That smells not like vanilla anymore. If your MAC lip stuff does not smell like vanilla anymore, it is not good. Bought these Scott Barnes lip glosses and I just, I didn't like them. I didn't like the formula. I'm going to keep the like champagne color, but the other two are going to go because they're clear. All three of them are clear. <laughs> so if I only keep one, I basically have the whole collection. Who remembers these from Bite Beauty? They have like holographic coloring, really neat, but that one is old. I've had it for a long time. Dang, I really let my lip products go. Uh, but I mean, if they're old, what can you do about it? Clear one from Ultra. Let me smell this one from Dose of Colors. I mean, this one still smells good. Okay, so all of these smelled a little funny to me not this one but all of these smelled a little funny to me so these are some more lip glosses that i am decluttering all right guys so next drawer we have is my lip drawer so basically i'm gonna open everything it's a lot and smell it and if they smell off we're gonna declutter so <laughs> i'm gonna set this right here and I'm going to get to sniffing. I actually ended up decluttering less than I thought. My lipsticks turned out were more fresh than I thought, but this is all that I'm getting rid of. Majority of it just smelled weird. I'm also getting rid of a lot of these minis because a few years ago for the holidays, I bought sets from KVD, Huda Beauty. I have Kylie. This was from the Valentine's Day collection when I was in college. Just things like that. And I mean, these don't really smell bad for some reason, but I graduated college in 2018 and I had all of these when I was in college, so I'm, I'm decluttering them. But anyway, I'm really depressed because I have to declutter these Fenty ones because they smell like straight up bleh. Like, I've never come across a lipstick smell so terrible. So you will definitely know when these turn because they are unbearable. I'm considering picking up these colors again, though, because I love them so much, especially... The red. Hmm, I'm gonna see if Fenty's on sale. Not, but the thing is, I don't need to. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just depressed about getting rid of these because I love them. Ta-da! All right, let's move on. Let's move on. We are getting towards the end here, guys. These are like the last set of drawers that I have to do, which, thank goodness. But anyways, I have all of my individuals in this drawer, you know, like those single glitters um and then here i have eyelashes more eyelashes backups and junk <laughs> um and then i have setting sprays here so just like the lipsticks i'm gonna get fast forward all i'm doing here with these is i'm feeling which ones are dry and i'm gonna get rid of the dry ones so yeah
here is the graveyard. So it's a mixture of things that were either dried out or just I didn't use them. Like these tarp pigment paint pot, whatever they're called, I don't know, explode everywhere. They dry and just poof, huge mess. So I threw all of them away. I've had these NYX roller balls for years and I never got rid of them because they're the prettiest pigments, but ask me how many times I use them. I have a few dried out ColourPop. Uh, this hourglass was dried out. These touch and soles are super old. Yeah, just a lot of stuff I don't use. And I told you, this drawer, like, I love individual shimmers and stuff, but I never really end up using them. Um, and every time I organize this drawer, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have such pretty cream shadows in here that I need to use. So I'm happy with how much I got rid of. That's a lot. Okay, let's move on to the next drawers. Okay, this is the last of the stuff that I'm getting rid of from those drawers. I have some old Lorac lipsticks. Those are the lashes I showed you back when I got into special effects makeup when I was in makeup school. So these are super old. Um, I have a setting spray that I'm never going to use. Trash. But anyways, I mean, let me put this stuff away and I'll be back to close off everything. Alright guys, it's time to show you everything that I was able to declutter. Like, yeah, oh, <laughs> here it is, <laughs> in frame now, not even, hold on, look at all of this, all this is old disgusting makeup, so don't ask me to give it to you, cause no, but dang, and then that's not even all of it, I also have a bag of nice new stuff that I'm giving away to my friends and family. I've used the items in here for the most part, but they're still like new and fresh. But. Well, I mean, this is pretty good, right? That's a lot of makeup. You guys can just stare at this and look through things, I guess, if you want. But I will have an eyeshadow palette declutter coming up as well. Again, same situation in that it's not going to be anything huge. It's just doing kind of an obligatory cleanup, make sure I have everything that I want and everything that I don't want out. If you feel like anything was missing from this video, it probably was. I didn't show you every corner of my makeup room where I store makeup. This was just the drawers that I needed to declutter. But anyways, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.